As a child, I craved to be normal. I wanted to be able to go run and play like all the other kids that I saw. And horses were my equalizer. They gave me that normalcy that I craved. My name is Rebecca Hart. I am the leading national champion for paraquestrian. And I got into horses basically because as a disabled child, there is this magic thinking that your disability will go away. And you know, as you kind of go along, you realize that it's not gonna happen and it's, you know, you're kind of stuck with the cards that are given to you. And I was angry. I was angry about having a disability. I didn't want to be disabled. And horses allowed me to turn my anger into passion. Passion for a sport, passion for a sport that improved my life and improved um, a lot of other riders, you know, people and individuals with disabilities. Horses give them the freedom of movement. It allows them to play on the same field as everybody else. I have familial spastic paraplegia, which is a genetic disease that causes muscle paralysis and wasting basically from your mid back down. It's caused by axonal degeneration. It's very painful to deal with. It is a progressive disease, so um, I've basically had it since birth. I started out relatively mild in my symptoms, and then as I've aged, um, the disease has progressed further, so walking um, long distances and balance is very difficult. I'm not actually able to use my legs at all when I'm competing. Based on the angle that I ride at, my legs essentially become fully paralyzed, and we actually use compensating aids to kind of basically help bring us back to normal um, per standard kind of equine classic aids. With me, I use um, two Velcro straps that are FEI um, approved and are all breakaway just for safety reasons. We use a lot of seat um, and core because my legs aren't there to back me up. So we have to use the, basically use the portions that you can control and you have access to. I'll use my shoulders if I can't get my leg or my hip into the position that I need to. I use my shoulder because everything's connected um, to basically get the rest of my body to do what I need it to do. Having your own individual horse that you can work with over a long time frame really helps to make the performance that much more polished because you do have to create such a, a new language with them with that disability. And when you're riding a borrowed horse or if you have a horse that you're not familiar with, they don't always understand that and it's very frustrating for them. So it's actually better for the sport and for the horses to be able to build that partnership. We have a beautiful 11-year-old Danish mare named Romani, and the reason we're so focused on Romani is because she handled my disability beautifully. When I sit across a horse, it's actually quite painful for me to ride, and it was the first time that I'd ever ridden without having any sort of pain involved, and it was just her movement and her body type matched me perfectly, it matched the disability. She handled everything so well, and she handled the disability better than any horse I've ever met before. Most of the time, there's kind of a learning curve with a horse when they have a disabled rider on their back. The aids are different, the cues are different, and they have to filter through that and you know, use their knowledge of the classical aids with the rate aids that we're able to do. And she just kind of cocked her head back, looked at me, swiveled her ear around and said, okay, let's go do this. And it was a really special feeling and I, you know, it was addicting and I loved her to pieces for that. So it's, I think it'll be a very special partnership that I'm excited about. Paraquestrian does dressage. People aren't always familiar with what dressage actually is. And a lot of people liken it to ballet on horseback. I actually liken it more to um, gymnastics with horses. You teach them to carry themselves in a very efficient manner that increases their elasticity, their ability to perform movements, and basically their gracefulness. That's what you're going for with dressage, and you have a set pattern that you're judged on based on the harmony that you have with your horse, the perfection of um, the movement that you're doing, and then the precision of how you execute that. One thing to note is paraquestrian isn't that understood in this country as of yet. It's come a long way from its inception, but people often misunderstand that para refers to being a paraplegic or being disabled. Para actually refers to being parallel to able-bodied sport. It is the same venues, it is the same high performance standard, the same FEI international standard that we have to uphold in order to be able to compete successfully. I have been involved in this 
uh, equestrian sport and the para equestrian movement basically since the inception. Um, the first games that we ever had was in 1996. I came into involved in 1998. Um, I've been to two Paralympic Games. I went did the 2008 Games in Beijing and then I was the highest scoring rider in 2012 at the London Paralympics with the freestyle. In order to kind of get to that point in the games we've had to do many national championships. I'm the current national champion um, and actually five-time national champion with my other horse uh, Nortiesa and Lord Luker. Um, both of those guys were fantastic. They have um, basically retired now, which is why we're looking for Romani. And we think that with all of that experience and everything moving forward, Romani and I have a good chance to get into that top spot and really bring home a medal, which is so important for Paraquestrian as a movement, because without bringing home those medals, those medals are where our funding come from, for, from our national federations. So without that sport, Paraquestrian um, could very likely, you know, basically die as a sport in this country, and we don't want that to happen. So the ultimate goal here is to stand on that podium and watch that flag go up. And what, you know, I've been so close twice now. I was fourth, which is a tough spot to be in because you're so close to standing on that podium and I really want to do it. I want to do it for everyone that has supported me and anyone and everyone that is coming in to kind of join the party now because I want people to be excited. I want to be excited. This horse is awesome. I want to be able to give back to everyone that has supported me this way because it literally takes a village to get there. I am the one that's out there, you know, but I'm just the figurehead. It's all the people behind me over the last 18 years who have got me to that point. It's as much their victory as it is mine, and I would just love to have other people join in and just to be able to share that with them and get that gold medal.